guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel family. You already know what time it is. Gang, gang, we in this thing. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to be a part of the crew. Smash that like button to see what it do, y'all. Okay, so let's get into this reading for you. This is going to be for my Taurus. You already know we done hit the full moon. So let's see what the energy is like, what y'all can expect during this full moon phase. Okay, so let's see what y'all got popping for the Taurus. Right now, Taurus, we got hostilities card and what's this? We got victory card. So you're going to be dealing with some frustration whenever it comes to dealing with your ex. Whatever ex is coming back, that's going to be the one that you do not like. Like, for some reason, whatever it is that they did, I feel it. And shit, we never gonna say um for no reason because shit, a lot of times uh, y'all done cut them off because they done lied, they done used you in some way, they was cheating or something like that. So you're gonna be meeting that person with a lot of frustration. This could be situations to where you was in a relationship, y'all done broke up for whatever reason, like I said, lying, cheating, or whatever. And this could lead to a lot of situations to where you need to get stuff off of your chest. So before you guys can even get back good again, or if y'all do get back good again in the relationship, you gonna need to get that off of your chest. Don't let somebody step all over you and then try to come back and then y'all don't sit back and talk about it because that's going to lead to you holding on to a lot of internal frustration and holding a grudge against this person and they might not even know it but you're going to be sitting back and you're going to be feeling like oh I can't stand to look at this person when they do this I can't stand it when they do that but it's only because you haven't forgiven this person or you guys haven't talked it out all right, so like I said, y'all might even see your ex come back with that victory card being in reverse, and that ex might be the one that gets that energy. All right, also, you guys had a woman holding a heart. This one's in reverse, and the woman holding a coin. So now's the time to where, um, whenever it comes to relationship wise with the heart card, you not going to be showing too much love to whoever it is, okay? Whoever it is is going to be in the doghouse whenever it comes to y'all Tauruses. And we got the um, woman holding a coin too. So whoever it is, you might have had a lot of situations to where you might have helped this person out. And moving forward, you making sure that you um, keep your money to yourself with the woman holding a coin. You making sure that you invest your time and energy into yourself or into somebody that actually cares for you or that could reciprocate the energy back, Okay. You might find yourself being a little bit um, frugal during this time and be like, you know what, shit, whenever it comes to gifts, um, fuck uh, so-and-so. They could get that little uh, bar of soap for a gift. I don't got to go all out and go to um, Bath and Body Works. No, honey, I'm going right to uh, Walmart. They could get a little gift bath set for $5, and that's it. I'm not going to spend all my coin. That's how y'all going to be operating during this time. All right. Also, you guys have a community card letting us know that now's the time to where you might want to surround yourself with um, family and friends, with the people that actually know you, the people that you can actually connect with, the people that you can sit back and express your feelings to. Um, even if it is feelings of you sitting back needing to complain, make sure you involve yourself with individuals that will sit back and actually listen to you, okay? Because it might be frustrating if you sit back and you have one of them um, conversations with somebody you done explain your whole life and all they're doing is sitting on the phone talking about, mm-hmm, okay, girl, yeah, da 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So make sure you uh, surround yourself with genuine connections during this time as well. All right. Also, you guys have the angel of strength. Let us know that now it's the time to where you're going to be calling upon your spirit guides. You're going to be getting and receiving the strength that you need in order for you to get through whatever it is that you need to get through in terms of your relationship. So try not to let things um, get you down too much whenever it comes to this person acting up them not doing right in terms of relationship. At the end of the day, you're stronger than that. And um, you're stronger than letting somebody bring you down and to letting somebody um, see the negative side of you okay you way stronger than that than letting somebody affect your emotions is what i'm saying okay also you guys had a thinking woman card so now's the time to where you're going to be putting a lot of thought into your relationships or into love you know the things that you um or the people that you care about or the people that you once cared about so you guys might find this as being a time of reflection but you guys are going to be thinking about the positive times that you went through and that might also be what gets you too whenever it comes to your ex coming back or that relationship that you broke off coming back you might sit back and think like okay well you start to this person comes back and you start to think of all the good shit that y'all went through all the good times stuff like that and that causes you to want to get into the relationship more entertain this person more because you sitting back like damn we done went through a lot, you know what I'm saying? We done went through a lot of good times and I don't want to be alone type shit. So shit, I might as well take this person back. But make sure you're actually taking them back because they're actually going to do better next time or um, this time around. You're not taking them back just because you're lonely. You're not taking them back just because, you know, you're like, oh, we had so many good times. But then whenever it comes down to it, the bad times actually outweigh the good. The cheating and shit like that 
actually outweighed them good times but just because this person sit back and want to bring up the good times now next thing you know y'all sitting back going down memory lane and now they don't weasel their way into your bed so be careful also we have the second chakra archangel ariel this one's in reverse so this is letting you know whenever it comes to intimate connections you need to be careful whenever it comes to your intimate connections because like i said with that hostilities card it might end up in you having internal frustrations or not really being able to connect with that person again so sometimes whenever a person does you wrong it can be difficult for you to reconnect connect with them on the same type of level so you end up kind of like taking them down a couple levels and if you're going to take them down a couple levels so you need to be careful because it might end up with situations where you say you know what fuck this relationship and if it's that then you need to just let it go don't decide to keep on entertaining it because that means that you're holding on to a lot of internal things that they did to you and you might need to just let it on go before you decide to engage with that person next thing you know you don't let it out in the wrong way also, we have the Blossom Abundance card letting us know that now it's going to be a time to where you're going to see the fruits of your labor come into fruition. So a lot of things that you've been uh, wanting, praying for, wishing for, you might actually see it come into play. Or you might see similar situations that you could be in that will lead to you getting or achieving those goals that you want. All right. Also, you guys have Six Chakra Archangel Metatron. That's a, That one's in reverse. So sometimes you might not be aware of what it is that you need to do in order for you to see things manifest. Or sometimes you might feel like you need to do extra in order for things to manifest. Just sit back, chill out, because now with the Blossom of Abundance, it's a time for you to try not to get overwhelmed, especially with you dealing with um, negative things in your relationship. It could be very easy for you to get overwhelmed, and it could be very easy for you to... Um, take more time into sitting back trying to fix things in a relationship that's broken and that's not going to work than for you to sit back and um, um, manifest good things in your life. Also, we got the garden and the gate card, which says that right now is the time to where you just kind of need to just towards so y'all might need to just kind of chill out and stay to yourself during this time with that guard and the gate card okay because you might have a lot of situations to wear shit you might end up telling some people what it is that they really need to hear but it might be difficult for them to hear so y'all end up being on bad terms and this could be in terms of your relationship as well okay or your past relationship all right so uh, right now might be a time to where you don't need to let people in in that type of aspect in terms of your personal space you need to just kind of keep them at a distance okay and see what it is first before you decide to engage all right so hopefully this helps y'all out for today comment like and subscribe and i'll see y'all next video peace out